Queen Charge into Baby Dragons, Valkyries, Hogs, E Drags, Blues. Uh, something. He's got a little bit of everything here. And on top of that, he's brought 10 back spells. We are halfway through the group stages. And as you can see, I'm back in the hotel room as we are back out in California to get ready for the next round of the Snapdragon. But currently my team in this Town Hall 11 IEL tournament is undefeated. You know who else is undefeated? Immortal Odds played against Addicts 11 today. Let's see how they do today as we start off with Exit Game. Coming in with a Skelly Donut into Lalo. I love to see the strategy being used at Town Hall 11. It's just not used enough. And it is very, very powerful. If you can take out the CC and you can get at least one key target there with it, then you can get the value you're looking for and you can make sure that your heroes get significantly more value. Look at this. He almost picks up the defensive queen with the skeletons on top of destroying the CC and that Inferno. Remember, if you destroy the CC, then the troops that are inside of it do not come out anymore. So skeleton spells cannot pull the CC, the same as bat spells can't pull the CC. Imagine if you could, that'd be broken if you could just pull the CC with a single spell anytime you wanted. But if you could use those invisibility spells to protect those and take those down, then you're able to pick up some insane value and set up your heroes very, very nicely. So the heroes come in to connect to the area of the base there that was uh, taken out with the Skelly Donut, which is why we call it the Skelly Donut. We punch the hole there with either lightning or with the skeleton spells and invisibility. And then we connect to the hole created with our heroes. And now we have a nice half crescent left on the base here, where the queen is going to continue to pick up some abilities over the side there. She should probably get that arch tower out of the way. If she doesn't, not a big deal. I think she might. Maybe she does not with the expo. But the Lalo's going to start at the Eagle Artillery here. It's coming in behind the Sweeper. I really, really like this. And I want to point out that as they play through today, nobody is allowed to use Siege Machines or Super Archers. So that makes Town Hall 11 extremely difficult. If you want to copy any of these strategies, I suggest you add either a Siege Barracks or a Stone Slammer if you want to do these same attacks here with the Siege Machine in your own wars. But this is a tournament and most tournaments don't allow you to get donations from higher levels than your own town hall level and obviously that would exclude siege machines super archers are just kind of broken its level so uh that's why they kind of ban those <laughs> which is you should definitely take note of that because uh you might want to be using them yourself we have other videos to cover that though so we won't cover it here but uh exit game looking very very solid guys if we pick up a 12 star war that is usually enough to carry most Town Hall 11 no siege machine tournaments to victory. But if they can put up 13, 14, which these teams definitely are capable of, we've seen them do it in the past here, then that would be absolutely insane. But we start off with a triple. Exit game gets it done with a very, very nice Skelly Donut into Lalo. And as he just force quits the app there, it is clearly enough time to finish it off. Nicely done. Returning fire from the undefeated Immortal Odds is going to be Loki wow, coming that's in. that's a lot of months. Well, that's a lot of months. Oh, we got subs coming in. What's up, Hocus? <laughs> we have a Queen Charge. No, I take it back. It's not, it's not a Queen Charge. Unless he's got a couple of healers inside of his CC here. But he uses the lightning to take out the expo. Looks like he got the wizard tower. I don't know what he got out of it. I assume that it's a symmetrical base there. So we must have got whatever is the same as the other side of the base there. So I'm assuming like expo, wizard tower, random other stuff there. But either way, the queen begins her path in. One healer onto the queen. One healer. Would have to be perfectly calculated to get the value that he's looking for with this queen. He'll pop the queen ability, power through his defensive Lava Hound. Now, at least Lava Hounds are only Town Hall 11 level Lava Hounds. Otherwise, they'd be significantly higher HP and take him forever to power through. That's why they don't not only get these Town Hall 11 troops on offense, but also on defense to make it nice and even for them. But the queen circles in. She'll lock on to this Inferno here. She'll have enough to get the Inferno down, but he goes ahead and tries to tank the defensive queen so his queen can power through her. I really like that. The queen does have some HP. He's got some minions right there. Has some pups right there. And he does get her down, 
But at the cost of Lava Hound, the king goes into the other air defense up at the top of base there. The king has direct access into the Eagle Artillery. Look at this. That was so genius. The queen clears out the south side. The wall breaks, get the king all the way in, and the lightning forms the top half of the funnel. Now the king will dive all the way into the core of the base there. The CC troops have already been dealt with. He's gonna pick up both sweepers and the eagle artillery. That was a 200 IQ move right there, and will definitely set him up for success, but he's not out of this yet. He's gotta get through this multi inferno. He's running a little low on blues right now. He's got seven on standby. He'll start to drop those in the left side of the base here. Has to get through that geared up Archer Tower. Able to power through it quickly and step his way in. Everybody joins the King. Fight off the defense of the King and get some of his HP removed there, which will help him with cleanup later on. He's definitely going to need the assistance on the cleanup here, but he's got the heal down to get him through the Multi Inferno. Looking okay here. Got one freeze to get through the last couple defenses. He's got to move quickly, though. Time is going to be the biggest issue. It's a good thing that he got this defensive King so low here so he can power through it later on. But is his Warden on ground? Is his warden on ground? Oh, rip! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, man. I don't know if it would have made a difference in the end, but the king kills his warden right there. All right, a little bit of a mistake there. I think he's in a time fail regardless. I don't think that the, the ground ground warden made a difference in the end, but 87%. And Addix 11, the underdog in this match, will start off with the lead. Addix 11 will send in Sanith with a queen charge into Lalo. Going to try to get this queen to go in after this multi inferno here, but she doesn't want to take that path in. The wall breaker off on the right side. He still could. Get the queen to round into this multi and eventually into the core. But when we see these bases with the large box with the eagle artillery in the core of the base there, usually the best approach to these bases is to get the queen into that box there and let her just walk the rounds there where she can access almost every single major defense on the base. He wall breaks again to try to correct her path here. And he'll get these Teslas over the walls and hopefully the Queen turns south. He's got the jump spell. The goal is to get the Queen into that Eagle Artillery compartment. Don't give her additional access outside of that, but definitely get her in there. Once she takes this multi inferno down and ideally gets a sweeper as well, then we want to start at the Lalo from the top of the base there to go over the Town Hall to make sure that we don't accidentally end up with a one star because we also have to remember that they only get one attack per player here. So it's important that they have a safe Town Hall takedown plan here. This is a ideal CC for this attack here. This was the CC that the last attack definitely would have got a lot more value out of the Queen if he would have run into this. But a Lava Hound slows up a lot of these ground attacks here, Queen charges, and is going to limit the amount of value that they're able to get out of those. But if you can sometimes, if you know there's a Lava Hound or something like that, you can avoid pulling it all together and definitely take advantage of that. But that's why Lava Hound is one of the strongest CC in the game, especially when you're playing in single attack format wars, where you don't have a second chance and you don't get to find out what it is. And if you take a guess and don't pull it, then it can screw you over. Everybody's been there, where you don't deal with the CC properly and you just get hosed. But this Queen has taken the inside top end path there rather than circling down to these other defenses. So it was a little bit of a, uh, you know, actually it worked out all right there. I, it actually did work out okay. Or did it? Maybe it didn't. I don't know. <laughs> He's got a lot of defenses left. Is the warden still alive? What happened to Lala? That Lala didn't seem to get much at all, did it? Uh, <laughs> okay, well, what was the percentage of the miss on the other one? 87%? Can he at least reach that? Pops his queen ability. He has a couple minions working on the left side of the base here. Queen will power through a couple more buildings here, but she's going to get overwhelmed by the Expos, and this one is going to fall short. So a 75%, and Addicts 11 might give up their lead here if Immortal Oz can respond to the triple. All right. Zap into Lalo will strike next here, taking out two Expos and the Sweeper, making sure that Quake value reaches over the walls and hits some of these other buildings on the edge of the base here. Weaken them up there. Don't waste any value of the Earthquake. Although we could have gone after some higher value targets in the core of the base there, like hitting the Eagle Artillery and the Inferno and the Town Hall. Would have been some good value, but at least the value that he did get weakens up some of the perimeter defenses and gets his heroes to go through a little bit easier. Queen will be going in with King into this defensive Queen. 
Here comes the CC pull. This isn't uh, too rough of a CC to be able to deal with here. You can quickly get the Ice Golem popped here, get the Queen to take out that Dragon, and the King should be able to sustain long enough to be one of the lighter CCs to have to deal with with a kill squad like this. If it was a Lava Hound, then the Queen would be tied up significantly longer, even though the overall damage incoming to the King would be a little bit less. Overall, it is a net positive for a Lava Hound for the Defender. This is a very, very nice CC to run into here as he sends in the Lalo over the top of the hero's heads. But it is an anti-two-star base. Wanting to stay here could potentially cost him. He needs to get these Expos down as the most important target. The Queen's gonna survive, so she could have an impact later on in the deck there. In the meantime, she's just gonna work on the cleanup. She has her ability attack there, so she can definitely do something significant. If the Lalo ends up falling short here, but this is looking pretty good so far. Big Tesla farm on the right side. And the single for notice, he's got a lot of force going into the Eagle Artillery. He can ride that haste all the way over into the single, but he gets a big split. The split causes the balloons to go north and miss the heal spell. But the balloons to go into the single for need to get that down. They got it, they got it, they got it, they don't go! It. Oh no, the Inferno stays standing! Wait, the minions swarm it! Alright, now is the time for the Queen to shine! He's got a couple of minions, a lot of minions, a couple more than expected to be able to give some tanking for the ward, and the ward needs to stay safe. Ward does not stay safe. Okay, Queen still has her ability, and she'll pop it there, and he will take the air defense down with the minions. He lost all of the balloons, but sending the Lalo over the Queen's head and saving her has won the war as the Queen sweeps in and clears out the rest of the base. The lead has been relinquished, and let's see if they can get it back. Denmark going in with a Queen charge into baby dragons, Valkyries, hogs, e-drags, blues, something. He's got a little bit of everything here. And on top of that, he's brought 10 bat spells. <laughs> what the heck is this army? All right, all right. All right, he's definitely caught our attention. You've definitely caught our attention here, but the king and the warden are the first to go into the base. There with a couple of the ground troops. To go in after the defensive queen and clear out that bottom compartment here. Tesla's building the gap a little bit there, but he sends in a couple of blues to go after it. He definitely, if he gets these Tesla's out of the way here, you get direct access for a baby dragon to go get this Inferno after he clears the way with the queen. So far, so good. The Eagle Artillery is standing and will be standing for a significant amount longer, but he puts an Electric Dragon up at the top of the base there. Look at what he's going after here with the e drag He's going after that Wizard Tower, but he does not get it. Now the Queen's going to take an Eagle Artillery Strike here. He has no Rages for the Queen, but he drops in that Baby Dragon to go after the Multi Inferno, trying to handle all the splash damage of the base, but notice, oh, he just lost the Baby Dragon to a Black Air Bomb. Gets a Baby Dragon on the side Wizard Tower. The Queen is rapping north. She can pick up the Wizard Tower by the Town Hall. He sends in that other Baby Dragon to go after the Inferno down south once again, but the two Expos picking off very, very quickly. He's going to have to send in additional ones there. Drops in one more. That should do the trick. The Queen lost her healers. She does not go to the, the Wizard Tower first. She goes to the Town Hall, which is not a good thing, but not a bad thing either. She does have enough HP. She does power through it, and she survives. Now the bats sweeping through. The Ice Golem goes into the Wizard Tower on the left side of the base here. There's a lot of bats here. Ten bat spells worth the bats. The Ice Golem frees up. He gets the Wizard Tower down. Come on, Bat Wave! Sweep through! He's got a couple of blues on standby here. Pick up whatever the bats end up leaving behind. He drops him in down south, but watch for red air bombs. They end up hitting any. They'll get this Expo down, and they're getting picked off. They're getting thinned out here. This Expo and Inferno are doing a lot of damage, but the bats keep on moving. Are you kidding he needs to clean up. He puts in a hog on the right side of the base. The hog goes in there and will turn right back around and get the cleanup. But a red air bomb just pulled and killed all of the bats. Are you kidding? He's going to time fail this. He got the defenses down. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. That was the cool attack. You got to hand it to him. 10 points for creativity but only two points on the board. It is a miss 96%. Odette going in with a two healer Skelly Donut Queen Charge Lalo attack. I mean, we've seen some crazy things this war. It wouldn't put, me, put it past me to 
see another thing right here. Let's see if he can get it done, as he is able to get his primary targets there, taking out the Eagle Artillery. However, the area was filled in by some Tesla, so we still gonna have to go into that area with the Lalo. He puts in his King to go fight off the defensive King up the top of the base there. The King has to survive forever, but he does get the CC pull. Would have been nice if he could have got the defensive Queen out of the way over there, but this Queen is what's so off to the right. Wall break to get her into the base. CC's now going to go her way. He deploys the healers. Notice the healers were delayed until the Queen was actually going to be able to sustain damage there without the risk of the healers transferring over the King. But does get just enough support for the Queen when she fights out the Lava Hound. She will be taking some blue strikes there for a little bit. Uh, you can't see her HP right now, which makes everybody nervous. Okay. <laughs> you like, do I need to manually pop a queen ability or am I okay? I don't know. It's hard to say. But the queen needs to pop her ability. Healers is still safe though. And she'll get topped off here after she gets this inferno down. But it looks like you calculated it just right there to get the queen through this inferno on the final strike. Okay, that would have been bad because he's risking a one star right now. He's got skeleton spells onto the defensive queen. You have to actually get her down, though. The skeleton spells are on the wrong side of the wall, I believe. So the queen, luckily, is going to go down with the lava pups. So Christ is a part of there. He's going to kill spell on the multi on the side of the base here. Warden still holding on to his ability. He's got two freezes and another six balloons on standby. He'll start to pick up the defenses on the right side of the base. But he definitely needs to get the air defense and the defensive grand warden down. If he misses those, it doesn't matter what else happens here because he wouldn't have enough to finish off the area around the town hall and actually secure that takedown. But he pops the ward ability, freezes again over by the town hall. A couple blues into the defenses that he most critically needs to take down. Their black air bomb claims one of the blues though, and that could cause some problems. Oh no! What's <laughs> the score going to this? Oh, rip the dream, guys. That's a one star. That's a one star. Oh, rip. Oh, rip, rip, rip. Oh, and it's low percentage, too. I think our underdog team is in a very, very good spot. But because that last one was a defense, that is going to make this war only split by one star. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. 12 stars is typically the bar to reach here to win at these Town Hall 11 tournaments. And with the reset of Immortal Odds, Addicts 11 can put themselves right there right now and win as the underdog team in this match. You're taking out the undefeated Immortal Odds in these group stages. Wouldn't eliminate them from the tournament, but it would give Addicts 11 a solid chance of making it into the playoffs. But he starts in with a queen charge into Lalo here. And I, I would love to see either of these teams face my team in the grand finals, right? Uh, by the way, this uh, tournament here is uh, sponsored by myself and Kenny Joe and RH Base Building. So we all put a little bit of prize money into the pot. It's not a huge prize, but I mean, it's it's just a fun little uh, community tournament here. And love to see some Town Hall 11 no seed machine in action. If you guys are new to YouTube here, watching the Esports Wars, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying yourself. Uh, but let's see if Flash is able to get it in. Here is this Queen, charges in towards the defensive Queen. He's got the King coming to the bottom of the base. There are a couple of balloons down there as well. It's in the funnel form. The King, I don't know if he's actually going to take the turn into the base there. I think he circles out to the Spell Factory and then circles over to the Town Hall. He may eventually go into the air defense in expo compartment but i don't know if you'll have enough hp left at that point to actually get anything down over there without additional support and obviously that support is not around loses some healers to black air bombs by the town hall as he continues through that compartment where's this okay what's he do from here like there's not a lot of value that the queen can reach right now she needs to go north she needs to get out of that compartment circle north the king has this ability King's gonna pop his ability right now. He'll get away from that bomb tower with the blast. He'll circle all the way in with the wizard tower. He's gonna air defense down to the expo. That'd be his key targets in the area. He's into them now. He's working on the expo. The barbarian's able to finish it. If nah, I don't think they can. Maybe they can. I don't know. Okay. Well, either way. No, it stays standing. It stays standing. So. Got to deal with that on the back side of the base here. Tesla's over to the left side. He's going to heal as he makes his way into the multi inferno. Hold on to his ward ability. Queen did have the Lalo go over her head, so she is 
losing out on additional uh, value as far as targeting defenses goes. And with the time fail here, like it's looking pretty solid overall. I'm a little bit worried about this last compartment where the king left up those key buildings. But the king will, or the queen will break the wall here, pop the ward ability. The blues are starting to get low in HP now, and they're going to split. He's going to have half of them go to the outside defenses, and he's also out of time. He'll leave up two air defenses and two expos here, and it is going to give Immortal Odds a chance here to make up for their one star anti two star base. And a Queen Charge Lalo will be diving this Queen directly into the defensive Queen. He has one more Super Wall Breaker after this, and I assume that'll be used at the Archer Tower here to get the Queen to transition. Although, with this Void Space over here, and the Wall Break that he already has, he could technically Wall Break into the Multi Inferno if he wants to. Let's we'll see what he decides to do. He'll Wall Break into the Multi, okay. All right, I wasn't sure where he's gonna go there with the queen, but it looks like he'll try to push her off to the left here. He can reach two Expos, Sweeper, and Inferno. Be able to take out the defensive queen there before he switches over to the Lava Hound. And with the Rage still active, you'll pop that Lava Hound quickly, get the poison down. He didn't have to use the poison early to handle the balloon there because he had the Rage active. He's able to lock onto that Lava Hound very quickly. So he powers through the Lava Puffs there and gets this queen right back into action. All right, so this queen will make her way through. Did my music just stop? Let's uh, let's fix that. <laughs> I think I forgot to put my music on loop. There we go. There we go. Now the music is back. All right, the queen is going to get all of her primary targets here, moving all the way across the base here towards the air defense. But I feel like you need to put the Lalo through the eagle artillery here. Eagle's not activated yet, so it's not causing any problems. He's minimized how much he's dropped, and he will put the Lalo in for the bottom. Interesting choice there. He needs to get some of the buildings cleared in the apartment to get the Queen to redirect off of that wall and go into the core. But right now, she's not going to cooperate. He's got the minions working in the area, so he may eventually get her to take the turn. But anything to the Eagle Artillery is a little bit of a nuisance here. And keep an eye on to this Expo right there. That Expo right there is the one that could cause a one-star. So if he ends up missing it with the Lalo, then that would be devastating here. But the Queen is going to power through the wall to go into the south compartment here. Still not going to Town Hall. All the pups are going south as well. Queen can't reach the Town Hall over the wall here, but she needs to get convinced to circle towards the Town Hall now. He's got 50 seconds for somebody to get in there and take it, but he'll finally reach that Eagle Artillery, get the damage off of his back. The Queen is attacking the wall to go to the Town Hall, and the walls are already weakened up there because the Blue's taking a strike. He's got more Blue's up at the top of the base here, but this multi is still dealing a lot of damage. Got everything with the right-hand corner out of the way here, but he will secure the Town Hall. He needs to get this percentage up, even if he doesn't triple here. He's got a Queen ability. This one coming in at an 86% does at least give him a chance here. But the last player is going to have to triple, and they're going to have to pick up a solid defense. Baker has an opportunity now to lock in the win. He will send in a Queen Charge from the bottom of the base here. Notice how we only had three healers on his bars. I assume he has a balloon and a couple more healers inside of his CC, and I hope he realizes that he needs to drop those. Okay, he does now. A minion comes out, just his filler there, but he has to pop his Queen ability to get through the defensive King and Queen. That's fine. It's good use for the ability here, but we do see a single Inferno deep inside of the base here. Count Hall up at the top edge. You'll want to put the set of miners through the eagle artillery so we can not only get the eagle artillery down but get the town hall down relatively early in the attack to make sure he doesn't end up with a one star because we've already seen that one stars are a real possibility if you take any risk here at town hall 11 when you don't have seed machines this game is significantly more difficult but he does wall break up on the right side I assume for the king to go in there. He's got a wizard doing some good work over there. They're not a lot, and that's going to set up the king nicely. The king could actually start up at the top and then get funneled into that wall break if he chose to, or he could just put it outside. That's fine, too. I, I don't know why he wall broke over there. I don't, I don't think the king's actually going to take the turn in, but uh, whatever. <laughs> could use that wall break to get the queen to transition into another compartment here and keep her moving strong. Either way, the hybrid will push their way in. Get the Eagle Artillery down nice and early. King will pop his ability. King is kind of going in, isn't he? 
Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh, well, no, now he's not. <laughs> All right. Well, the single Inferno's locked up by the Miners here, so it's not targeting his queen yet. You know, just keep her distance for now. The Miners are taking the seating path here to get to the Town Hall. Don't have it locked in yet. A lot of base left here. One heal spell, no rages, no freezes. The Wizard Tower and the Ground Skellies messing these Miners up pretty good, but there's the heal spell. There's a couple of spring traps going off on these Miners. Look at that Inferno down, but this Wizard Tower and the Multi are going to do a lot of damage. Lots of Expo Fire. This is a one-star risk right now. This is a definite one-star risk. Expo's chinging away here. Oh, they're not going to the Town Hall. They're out of the hills. It's a one-star. Oh, oh. The dream! Addix 11 are going to throw, or at least they improve the odds for a mortal significantly! You've got to be kidding me! Guys, I don't know what it is about Town Hall 11, no siege machine, but it doesn't matter if you are a Town Hall 11 specialist and you've been playing this game for years. Town Hall 11 is no joke. It now comes down to this final attack here, and Turk is going to need a 96%. Here we go. The moment of truth. Doesn't necessarily have to triple, but basically has to triple. And we've already seen how difficult Town Hall 11 without Seed Machine is. He'll start it with a Skelly Bat Donut. Going after, I assume, the CC. Inferno, Expo, can he squeeze an invisibility between all those? I don't know if he can. He might attempt it though. Maybe attempting it. Let's see what he does. Alright. One star has given immortal odds an enormous opportunity, but a 96% is required to lock in the win, and he's got the skelly bat donut. And 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> well that was suspenseful wasn't it <laughs> oh my god Did you, oh my <laughs> Well, guys, you can't make that up. You get the huge opportunity dropped into your lap, and all it costs is a slight dip in your connection, and it's all over. But that's Clash of Clans.